Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you my quick and easy brow routine. I've had several of you ask lately and I've never went into a lot of detail just because I don't feel like I do anything special with my brows. <laughs> but I feel like it's also nice to watch somebody that doesn't go overboard with a ton of crazy fancy products that are difficult to use. So the products I'm gonna be using today are super cheap. They're from the drugstore. This is really easy to achieve. I know brows take a lot of practice. It's taken me a long time to get to this point with my own brows. And nine times out of 10, I'm not even happy with my own brows. So anyways, I am excited to share this with y'all today. Cause like I said, it's been highly requested. So I hope that y'all enjoy it and I will see y'all in my next video. I'm going to be starting off with my Wet n Wild Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Now the key is to use really light pressure um, no matter what you're doing and or what you're using and minimal product. So I just start right in here where it's really sparse and I'm just like creating a line and lining it up with this part of my brow which is fuller. And I'll work towards the front and towards the back but I kind of just start in the middle. I brushed up before now I'm gonna kind of I guess it depends on which way your brows grow this is just the way I do my own personal brows so I'll brush them in a different direction where I can really see the top see if there's any spots I missed or anything that still looks pretty sparse. Now this is good enough for me. It kind of depends on what I'm going to be doing. Today I'm having a really natural makeup day just and hardly anything on no eyeshadow or anything so then I like to take some concealer now I take it on the back of my hand and use a very small amount of the product and kind of wipe off the excess um, this is an eco tools brush I'll try to link one similar this is like my favorite one ever because it's small it's kind of rounded and it's just perfect um, so I kind of start a little lower and this is something you want to go really slow with if you're new at this. Take a little bit of a lighter concealer shade. You don't want to go too light or too dark. And I'll start a little bit lower and then just work that product a little bit up closer. Then I will just either take the other end or a sponge and just kind of blend the edges out. I try not to get too close to the brows because you don't want to mess up the work you just did. And this is pretty much it y'all. I will take my e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. This stuff is like my favorite. It's so good and if you have fuller brows, 
You could even just use this product. So I'll just kind of brush the front up and the rest in the direction that it grows and that is the difference in no brows and brows. My favorite part about using the concealer is I don't have to be too precise with the front of my brows because when I go in with the concealer, it just cleans everything up really nicely. Now, when I use the concealer, I make sure to blend it out at the front. I don't want it to look too harsh or boxy. That is not what I'm going for. And today, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And I'll be honest, this is not my favorite. Um, it's not the easiest to carve your brows out with and just work with. It's not the creamiest. So, struggling a little bit more with that. Okay, well. And that's it. Of course, it took me longer because I was filming and trying to go slower, but this is a really fast routine usually doesn't take me as long as it did today. Yeah.